So before we start our tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation masterclass course is out now on Udemy. Link is available in my description. So you can do check it out now. So in today's video, we are going to create this Google logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. I have this Google logo file over here. You can choose any logo if you want but make sure that all your logo is in the alphabetical format so right now i am going to experiment this uh, with google logo so i have this png logo i'll simply bring this over here i'll press s for scaling option and i'll scale it at appropriate size somewhere around like this now we have to create masking for each and every alphabet so i'm going to select my ellipse tool over here for the stroke uh, let's choose 15 pixels and color i'm going to choose green color because in this logo this green is not there so like that and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse sorry uh, let's hold shift and let's create one ellipse like this okay then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and let's select this ellipse and let's try to move this properly over here press s for scaling option and adjust it somewhere around like this make sure that this should cover this g curve like this so let's decrease the size a little bit like this okay let's try to increase the stroke width make sure that it should cover this g like this okay okay so as you guys can see this g is uh, this ellipse is covering this g then press uh, g to select your pen tool shortcut key for pen tool is g and from here to here i'm going to create one stroke like this so it will cover this portion also okay like this now let's select this ellipse and hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v for selection tool and let's move this over here press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and let's try to adjust it over here like this and let's decrease the scale somewhere around like this and also increase the scale so it should cover this o and let's select this and let's bring this at the top select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it again and let's move this over here like this select this hit ctrl d again and let's move this thing over here press s for scaling option and scale properly to cover this thing like this let's increase the stroke width a little bit okay hit u press g to select your pen tool again then from here to here there to here to here i am going to create one stroke like this let's increase the stroke size somewhere around like this i'll select this point and i'll move this a little bit upward then we will go to the add menu and we are going to choose round corners then go to the round corners and increase the radius so as you guys can see it should cover this curve and let's increase the stroke width so it will cover this g also okay then after that select this pen tool and from here to here we will create one stroke like this select this press ctrl alt home and let's try to move this like this press g and select this and let's move this upward like this okay so we will get something like this select any of this ellipse and hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top press v and let's move this over here like this okay press s for scaling option and let's adjust the size somewhere around like this and let's increase the stroke width like this okay then hit u press g again to select your pen tool and from here to here i am going to create one stroke and let's decrease the stroke like this okay so now we have covered this entire google logo now all we need to do over here we need to apply trim path effect so simply go to the trim path let's go inside this trim path and let's make initial value total zero like this and let's create one keyframe 
or uh, let's do one thing let's uh, hit control set first we need to make a proper adjustment for this logo now what i'm gonna do let's make in property somewhere around let's say 80 and now i'm going to increase the offset so it will cover my logo properly like this okay so let's make this end pro increase this start property like this let's try to make this offsets over here okay so offset value is 82 and i'm going to move this end value like this okay so now as you guys can see this is properly adjusted same thing we will do for this ellipse over here because if you hide this as you guys can see there is one gap that we should uh, know so let's go over here and let's add trim path again go to the trim path and let's make this end property 90 and let's try to increase the offset like this okay so we will get something like this okay so our adjustment are done now let's select this last layer and we will again go to an add trim path over here go to the trim path 2 and uh, let's make uh, initial proper start property 100 and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames and let's make this zero like this so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation select those keyframe and hit f9 like this then we will select this line again we will select this press ctrl alt home go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this end property zero initially create one keyframe go to around 20 frames and let's make this 100 or let's move this to 10 frames select those keyframe and hit f9 okay so first i want this and then at this point i want this line should animate so i'll move this over here like this so if you hit play i'll get this kind of animation and let's move try to move this over here okay so this is for g so i'll select both the keyframes i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as g and i'll hit ok and i'll hide this and lock this also then this is for o so i'll select this let's go to the add menu and we will choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this zero initially create one keyframe go to around 20 frames let's make this 200 select those keyframe and hit f9 we will copy this trim path effect hit ctrl c to copy select this one and hit ctrl v over here also so we'll get something like this select this one press ctrl shift c and let's call it as o and hit ok we will hide this and lock this select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as o hit ok we will hide this and lock this now we will focus on the on this one also i'm gonna hit ctrl v to apply that trim path effect like this uh, and from this point onwards i want this line should animate so i'll select this and i'll move this over here and i'll hit ctrl v again to apply the trim path effect so i'll get this kind of animation so select both of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as g and hit ok and we will hide this and lock this select this layer hit ctrl v to apply the same trim path effect so we'll get this kind of animation select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as l hit ok and we will hide this and lock this now we will focus on this one so hit ctrl v now to apply the same trim path effect sorry let's go to the start select this and hit ctrl v like this and on this line i'll move this over here and i'll hit ctrl v again so i'll get this kind of stuff i'll select this keyframe and i'll move this over here like this let's try to move this over here also okay select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as e so if i enable all of them so as you guys can see i'll get this kind of animations now i want them to be appeared one by one so i'll go to the five frames i'll select this o move this over here go to around 10 frames select this move this over here 15 frames 20 sorry 20 frames and this should be at 25 frames like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as mask and hit ok select this logo press f4 and choose alpha mask so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as one and i'll hit ok and select this logo file from your project window and we'll bring this over here 
press S for scaling option and we will scale it like this and let's move this over here select this one go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply and with the help of the speaker I am going to choose this blue color select this hit ctrl D to duplicate it with the help of the speaker I am going to select this red color select this hit ctrl D to duplicate it with the help of the speaker I am going to choose this yellow color again hit ctrl D choose blue color again hit ctrl D choose this green color again hit ctrl D and choose this red color and again hit ctrl D and we will delete this fill we will select this seventh layer and we will hit ctrl D we will select this eighth layer and I am going to delete this fill effect and I am going to apply find edge effect on them like this okay and we will already delete this logo now let's go to around five frames I'll select this seventh one I'll move this over here so basically we are going to try to adjust these layers one by one like this and like this so now if I hit play I'll get this kind of reveal for this logo like this okay and press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and hit ok and we will bring this downwards like this okay so if you hit play now we will get this kind of logo animation so select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final logo like this you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for light sweep effect simply double click to apply let's move this anchor point initially over here like this after the proper reveal let somewhere around over here i'll create one keyframe at the center hit u go few frame forwards and let's move this center from here to here so if you hit play now i'll get this then i'll get this animation okay let's make this proper fit select this press s let's make this in 90 initially create one keyframe go few frame forwards let's say up to five to six seconds i'm gonna make it 100 like this and hit n so if i hit play now i'll get this animation first and then this animation like this so this is how you can create google logo reveal animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned